Community Cats podcast. Ready? Let's go. Welcome to the Community Cats podcast. I'm your host, Stacey LeBaron. I've been involved helping homeless cats for over 20 years with the Merrimack River Feline Rescue Society. The goal of this podcast is to expose you to amazing people who are improving the lives of cats. I hope these interviews will help you learn how you can turn your passion for cats into action. Today, we're speaking with Dean Killingbeck. Dean was born and raised on a farm in Michigan and comes from a family of farmers with a deep appreciation of nature and herbal medicine. He started Pet Strong CBD over a year ago when he noticed that his 10-year-old dog was moving less and less. He could tell she was in pain because when she walked, it was a reluctant walk born from aging pain. His wife's best friend has two aging cats, 16 and 17 years old, and she also noticed the same thing with her cats. As they researched various natural remedies, hemp and CBD kept coming up. In discussions with other pet parents who were successfully using CBD to help their pets overcome aging pains, inflammation, and anxiety. His dog and the two senior cats now have their mobility back. That fact ignited a passion in Dean to educate other pet parents about CBD. He was outraged with their inferior products being sold and wanted a pure organic hemp product for his dog grown only in the United States. That decision led him to start Pet Strong CBD and write his new book, CBD for Pets. Dean, I'd like to welcome you to the show. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. So in addition to starting Pet Strong CBD, you have a new book that was just released in January, I believe, of 2020 called CBD for Pets. I have a copy here sitting right next to me. The uh, tagline here says, A Guide to Pet Wellness with CBD. So I can't wait to talk more about the book. But first, before we dive into that, tell me a little bit about you and your passion for cats. How did you become a cat lover? Well, you know, being born and raised on the farm, you always have cats all the time. Cats and dogs and other animals, too. Believe it or not, when I was on the farm, my biggest pet was a thing, was an Angus steer. And I'll never forget the day that I told him I cried like crazy. Um, you can imagine being a 13-year-old boy and having to get rid of a pet that was more like a dog of a cat than was like a steer. And I'd say that appreciation always took over because my dad and my mother always had cats and we always had pets in the house. And so that's how it all got started. And I don't think I've ever been my whole life without some type of pet in the household. So whether it be a cat or a dog, there's always that pet. Kind of where I got my appreciation. Yeah, that's great. And then from that point in time, from your childhood to now, how did you discover this whole thing around CBD? You talked about it a little bit in your bio, but did you look for alternatives in the past and nothing had helped your other pets that you'd had over the years? I mean, what was it about your 10-year-old dog that got you researching CBD? Well, she wouldn't get up on the couch again, and she wasn't as playful as she always was. And I knew that something was wrong, you know. So I take her to the vet, and they go, oh, it's just old age, you know. She's probably got arthritis. Oh, here, take this pill, take that pill. And I go, no, no, I really don't want to do that. And so that's how we kind of got involved in CBD. Of course, it made it a lot easier when the farm bill passed and it was legal in all 50 states. I first heard about CBD when I was out in Oregon and actually went to one of those places that sell CBD and other things too. And they started telling me how it would help your pet. So I actually purchased some for, for her and found out it did work. And so we looked into it farther. And if you go on the web, I mean, there's so much about CBD, it's unbelievable. Probably 80% of it is false. And so we started looking into it really stringently and said, hey, being an entrepreneur, this is an area that I think is wide open and that somebody can really help not only the pet owners, but the pets themselves. Because I think as pet owners, we suffer as much with our animals as, as the animal does, to tell you the truth. I mean, there are babies, okay? So they're part of the household, and they mean as much to us as our kids do, without a doubt in my mind. And now that I've, my kids are all grown up, they mean more to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're out of the house, so I got, they're my babies, though. So. That's right. That's right. So you discovered CBD on your travels, and then after much research, you discovered that not all CBD is alike. Maybe for folks that don't even know, what is CBD? Well, CBD comes from the hemp plant. Okay, and I'm not going to bore you with the ways that it's scratching, but there's good ways and bad ways. 
I'm just going to tell you the good way, which is a CO2 method, which means that what they do is they, it's under high pressure, low temperature, and it's called full spectrum CBD oil. So I'm going to give you a brief overview. There's four products out there that people are looking at. They're all considered CBD. Hemp oil, which is, has no CBD in it, but people see hemp oil and they go, oh, CBD. No, it's not. Uh, full spectrum, which gives you all the cannabinoids and what you need is the entourage effect for your animals to help the liver and the bladder and the kidneys and the stomach and all those good things. And then there's isolate. And people will see really cheap product. Usually it comes from isolate. And we say isolate is a microwave CBD. In other words, what they do is they put butane with it and they heat it up to 1,500 degrees. And you're ended up with a powder that looks like you're smoking cocaine or sniffing cocaine or whatever they do with it. So that's all that's in it, just CBD. There's nothing else in it. There's no vitamin C's. There's no vitamin A's. There's no omega fats. There's nothing but pure CBD. By the way, most of your cheap product that you're seeing is made from isolate. And to give you an idea, if you just have CBD, you need a carrier for it. So we use the hemp oil. And the CBD is our carrier, but a lot of people put MCT oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, some type of oil with it because it's so thick that if you don't have a carrier, it just doesn't work properly, okay? So in other words, you can't even pick it up like motor oil. And then the last one is called a broad spectrum that has all of the THC out of it. Still a full spectrum, has no THC in it. So one of the major questions that we get asked all the time with our product is because it's full spectrum and it's not a broad spectrum, it's a full spectrum. They go, oh, can my pet get high on, on it because it's got THC in it? And I tell everybody, absolutely not. Because first of all, to be hemp, it has to be 0.3 or less of THC in it. So what does that mean to the common person? If I made a cigar that was a foot long, six inches around that made it out of hemp and smoked it. The only thing I get out of it is a really sore throat. It's impossible to get high. So that answers one of the major questions that we get all the time. Oh, will it make my pet high? Absolutely not. But a little THC helps that entourage effect that I talked about earlier that it helps the whole body system work. So that's why we use full spectrum. And that's still your best product. If you see a real cheap product, you know, something that says, oh, it's $28 or $29, and you're buying it from a bake shop or you're buying it from the video store or a convenience store, and it's because it's isolated and it's just a cheap product that comes from China. And they don't have the organic growing method or the testing methods that we do here. So with CBD, I've used it with one of my cats that had cancer. And I also, with CBD, I have used it with my mother when she was suffering from dementia. It seems like, based on your book, many of the stories that you shared, the areas that CBD can be most beneficial in are anxiety, arthritis, cancer potentially, and maybe even with the coat, having a better coat or itchy skin, that kind of stuff. Would you say those are sort of the four best areas where CBD has seemed to be somewhat beneficial? Yes. Probably the two major things that people really buy CBD, like I'd say 70% of our people that buy it for both cats and dogs, is to relieve pain, especially in older cats and dogs, and also for anxiety. I didn't realize how much anxiety cats had until I got into this business because I never had a cat that had anxiety. But I can give you a good example. One of the girls at where I go to the post office all the time, she said, oh, my cat, every time my father comes over, hides underneath the bed. And I go, what? She goes, yeah, he hides in the bed. And I said, listen, here, take this bottle of CBD, try it, and see if it works. And she's actually on our Facebook page where she wrote it and she said, I can't believe it. The cat actually comes out and sits on my dad's lap now. So that's what it can do for anxiety of cats and dogs too. The other thing, of course, is pain relief. Probably the number one thing that we sell for skin coat. I had a friend of mine that's got a cat that's always had weepy eyes. And again, I said, here, take this bottle. Try it out. You know, you're always pushing things on your friends, right? And right. I said, I will. And she loved it. I mean, the cat, after two weeks, the eyes cleaned up. And she said, I've had this cat for 14 years. It was a stray that just came in. 
And she said, it's always had weeping eyes. The vet could never do anything for it. And I can't believe how it's cleared up the weepy eyes. If they're itching a lot, it'll help with that. Loss of appetite. I don't know about cats, even though I uh, one of the people that happens to be my cousin by marriage, she owns Loops Landing that takes in nothing but the cats that have feline leukemia. And I support her and give her all the CBD she wants. And it's really amazing how it helps those cats with their appetite and their coat. So that way, it really helps as far as we don't know because we've only been using it now for about, she's been using about four years, but only for extreme cases. Now we're giving it to all the cats to see whether or not it's going to give them longevity of life. Because, you know, most cats that have leukemia, if they can live to four years old, that's pretty old. So we're trying to give that to the people that are boarding the cats and take them in. No, and I think it's a great opportunity to try. I want to go back, actually, when you were talking about the different types of CBD. Not only are the CBD with these different combinations and you have the full spectrum type, but they also have different concentrations. If that's correct, right? Yeah, that is correct. I'm glad you brought that up because I completely forgot about it. Like, we started out and we looked at all the products, okay? And you start looking at products that have less than 100 milligrams of CBD in them. So if you're giving it to a cat that has high anxiety or has high pain or has got really bad skin or coat, I mean, if you give it a whole tincture, the most it would get is 3 milligrams, okay, if it was 100. That not doing anything for the cat. And so I've had lots of people say to me, oh, you know, I've tried CBD and it hasn't worked. Okay, where did you get it from? That's the first thing, the shop, you know, those types of places. But the other thing is, is, what concentration are you getting it? You know, because if you've got a really nice big cat that's 12, 13, 14, 15 pounds, it's going to need some CBD. It's going to need six milligrams if it's in, inflamed. It's got a in, lot of inflammation and arthritis or something like that. Three milligrams is not going to help. It's not going to do anything for the cat. So consequently, you really need to know how much is in the bottom, whether it's truthful or not, because anybody that's a good supplier will have a COA, which is called a certificate of analysis, and they will publish that right on their website. And it's surprising how many people lie about the COA. In fact, as there was a study done by the University of Pennsylvania that they bought 100 different products off from the web, and 73% of them were mislabeled. They either had no CBD in them or much lower than they said that they did. So that tells you kind of what's going on out there. The FDA does not regulate it right now. Probably we're four or five years from seeing regulation. So you're going to have to be very careful with it. Whoever the people out there that decide to try CBD, you have to be very careful of who you're buying it from because there's so many people out there not putting in the products that they need to put in and say they're putting in. Sign up today for a kitten-focused event presented by the National Kitten Coalition and the Community Cats Podcast. It's the online kitten conference. This three-day virtual gathering will feature presentations by experts on raising and saving kittens, setting up and managing kitten-centered shelter programs, and more. The online kitten conference is going to be on June 12th through the 14th, and all presentations will be recorded. So if you can't attend them all, no worries. You'll be able to watch the recordings afterwards. Since this is a virtual event, you'll have the opportunity to gain valuable insights and have your questions answered by some of the most knowledgeable leaders in the animal welfare community without the expense and hassle of traveling. For $75, you'll get full access to the whole program of the Online Kitten Conference in 2020 on June 12th through the 14th. CommunityCatsPodcast.com and sign up today. We can't wait to see you there. By now you know that Dubert is the go-to place for volunteer-based animal rescue transport. But you may not know that Dubert does so much more to help you with your animal rescue efforts. Did you know that Dubert helps you manage high-volume transport using your vehicle? They even help you collaborate with the source or destination organization to select the animals to go on the transport. And if you're looking for fosters, look no further because Dubert is the only place with more than 27,000 volunteers across the country that any rescue or shelter 
organization can access for free. If you haven't checked out Dubert in a while, now is the time to check back in. The team at Dubert is always innovating new ways to save you time so you can save more animals. Just go to www.dubert.com to get started today. I mean, there still is a bit of uncharted territory out there when we're looking at CBD, but obviously you're a strong proponent of having it be available. So what do you think needs to happen in order to ensure that the product we're getting is, you know, really good? Okay, first of all, you want to make sure it's organically grown. Okay, that's number one, because hemp plants have a tendency, and I wish I remembered the name of it, and I don't, but they draw up all of the bad stuff out of the soil. In fact, they're growing it around Chernobyl in Russia right now to replenish the soil. To take all of the radioactive material that's in the ground, it's actually sucking up through the hemp plant. Well, that's why I don't like Russian isolate is because a lot of that stuff is growing right around Chernobyl because they're putting the hundreds of acres in at a time. So that's one of the things. You want to make sure it's organic. The other thing is, is you want to make sure that it's third-party tested. So like us, our processor who's down in Kentucky and our grower, our organic grower down in Kentucky, they test everything, but we bring it back up here to Michigan. That's where I live. And we have a company called PSI, which is a laboratory, and they're the only ones that are registered by the state of Michigan to really test, now that we can grow hemp and marijuana both, uh, test for the hemp and marijuana in the state of Michigan. So we're using the right people to test ours to make sure that what we tell you is fact, that it doesn't have any pesticides and heavy metals in it, and it doesn't have any herbicides in it. So we're pretty OCD about what we're doing as far as our testing. So if you have a cat, say, that isn't too excited about having CBD squirted in its mouth. Are you okay with putting it in its food, or are there some other tricks to the trade on that one? Cats are very smart. At least I found that. If you pick them up about three times and you squirt it in their mouth and they don't like it, try picking them up the fourth time. You won't get a hold. So, yeah, I tell people that mainly most of our people, some of them do pick them up every time and squirt it in the mouth, but most of them put it on wet food. Or I tell them the easiest thing to do is get yourself some yogurt, and just put your drops in the yogurt, stir around the yogurt. And cats love yogurt, at least the people I've been talking to. And that's what they do with it. So either wet food or yogurt. Yep, works real well. <laughs> Excellent idea. Excellent. If folks are interested in finding out more about your book and also the CBD that you sell, where would they find that? They can go to PetStrong.com, and that's P-E-T-S-S-T-R-O-N-G. So it's got two S's to it. So pet strong.com and they'll find the book there they'll find the coas there they'll find everything there that they need they'll find also we have one for cats and then we got three dogs before we close out on today's show i was wondering there are so many stories in the book about cats and dogs that have really benefited from cbd are there any particular stories or one story that you'd like to share with our listeners that really resonated with you you know in my book you know even though we're talking about cats I would have to say it, it was a dog that had seizures. And it just really got to my heart because this dog knew when it was going to have seizures and actually would crawl on the owner's lap so that the owner could hold the dog while it had a seizure. I mean, it just cracks me up to think that a dog was that smart or any animal was that smart to do that. So that's kind of the one that pulled on my heartstrings the most, if I may say so that here you have a pet owner that has a dog that has seizures and will do that so it's comforted. And I think we find that both in cats and dogs. Uh, I have to say that with working with Leech Landing and seeing these people that are adopting these cats that have feline leukemia, the stories that you hear from them, how much joy this cat has brought into their life, even though they're losing the cat, you know, after three, four years, they're coming back to Luke's Landing and getting another cat. So it tells you a lot about people and how their love for animals is. That's kind of the, my story on that. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our listeners today? Yes. I wanted to let them know if they go there. And I think that if they go online, they can use a discount code because we're talking here and get 50% off their first order of CBD oil. 
And if it's a 5013C, if they let me know, they will always receive that. If they're just a civilian and the first time they'll get the 50% off, but the next time yeah, they won't. But if you have a 5013C, if you let me know, we'll put you in there so you always have your own number and you can always get that 50% off. Great. And then for the general public, the discount code, is there a phrase or something we're supposed to put in there? Oh, yes. CAT. C-A-T. Cat. Yeah, and that goes for the 5013C if they want it, and they let me know, then automatically I'll change that code for them so that they have their own code. Excellent. So that's C-A-T-S, CAT, yep. is a discount yep. code for the first purchase at PetStrong.com, and that's Pets with an S and then Strong. Dot com and then you get 50% off for that first order. And thank you so much for offering that for our listeners. Really appreciate that. And Dean, I want to thank you so much for agreeing to be a guest on the show today. Well, thank you for having me. I hope I uh, enlighten them a little bit. Get the book and you'll understand a lot more about CBD and how it can help cats and dogs. That's great. Excellent. For those of you that are listening to the show today, I'd hope that you might share this show with others. The more folks that can tune in and listen to the show, the better off we'll all be in caring for our cats. Thanks again, Dean. You're welcome. Thank you for listening to the Community Cats Podcast. I would really appreciate it if you would go to iTunes and leave a review of the show. It will help spread the word to help more community cats. 